Uh, well, let's take a look at our low temperatures we had this morning. It was a cool start to the day, but actually these temperatures were at or slightly above the average for this time of the year. Normally we're about 45 to 46 degrees on this date. You see most of those temperatures pretty much a little bit or a little bit above uh, that range this morning. Now this afternoon it warmed up nicely. We had a nice south wind bringing, bringing some warm temperatures uh, into East Texas and points northward as we'll see in just a second. But Lufkin right now showing 80, Hemphill 81 degrees, Henderson right now turning in 80, everybody else well into the 70s this afternoon. That's about a dozen degrees above the average for this time of the year. And those temperatures have been flowing northward. It's 70 degrees as far north as Kansas City, St. Louis and Omaha not too far behind there. So lots of folks starting to enjoy some of that almost spring like weather over the southern portions of the country. Now it remains pretty dry. The atmosphere as you saw in the relative humidity uh, remains dry with those dew points very low and that's going to continue but we are starting to see some clouds bringing some Pacific moisture in uh, over the southwestern portions of the country that will continue to stream eastward and we will be uh, starting to moisten up just a little bit but still a couple of days to go before we start to put a chance of showers into the forecast. Here's the way it's going to look as we go to noontime tomorrow a cold front will be approaching from the north still along that northern border there with the Oklahoma and uh, Kansas. And then as we go on in through the day on Monday and into Tuesday, that front sags down to the Red River where it becomes stationary. Could see a few showers developing along that front to the east, but not so much here in East Texas yet. It won't be far behind though. We do a low uh, that will form along that front there on uh, Tuesday and then into Wednesday. Some showers showing up over parts of North Texas and we'll have considerable cloudiness here in East Texas. As we go ahead to Wednesday and then into Thursday, we start to see a low out in West Texas move northeastward up to the Red River, and that's going to carry that front back to the north as a warm front. So we'll see those warm temperatures uh, continuing into the middle part of the week before a cold front arrives and cools us down by the end of the week. For tonight, we're looking for mostly clear skies, low temperature about 56 degrees, south winds at 10, and they'll gust up to 20 miles per hour. So still pretty good breeze out there. And for tomorrow, we're looking for a high of 78 degrees. It'll be mostly sunny, southwest winds at around 15 miles per hour. Seven day forecast Tuesday, we'll get a little more cloud cover. Could see some showers late Tuesday night over into the early hours of Wednesday morning. Then showers will be in the forecast for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Possibly some thunderstorms mixed in there on Friday. Over the weekend, a few showers are possible, but those chances are running rather low. But uh, we will see cooler temperatures actually returning to about normal for this time of the year. DP's Texas got a dry start to the week as well. That'll keep you warm as we'll see temperatures up into the 80s. But by uh, Thursday, we'll start to see some showers in deep east Texas, and those will continue into the weekend with cooler temperatures starting on Friday. Lauren?